ました。Yippee, yippee, okay, so no more swearing because I'm live. I'm waiting for the day that the um, a politician comes out. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've gone live. Yeah, but yes, you're right. Hello, everybody. How are you going? Sorry, I'm just bringing this up online um, so I can see what is going on. Welcome back. All right. So, my phone's frozen. Excellent. No, it was my phone frozen or my iPad. All righty. Neither of them. Okay. We're good to go. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late. Been having a bit of a convo here with the family and discussion and all those things um welcome back i'm going to have a little bit of a play with some there we go zoom that up a bit i'm gonna have a bit of a play this afternoon with a few different products so thanks trev um and have a bit of a play with some scrap effects goodies um, in my junk journal and I'm going to I've got I've done pre done some die cutting for you because you don't need to watch me do that and I'm um, having a bit of a play with some of these amazing cosmic shimmer flakes so this um, they are absolutely beautiful I've had them for years and years and years and um, I've got a heap of them online and in stock at the moment, so um, they're not nine dollars. I don't even know how much they are. That's how long I've had this set. That they've been around that long. Um, so for those of you who are just tuning in, um, as part of the online show this weekend, which is from picture to page, I'm going to be doing a couple of little live Facebooks a day. So. Um, I'm going to, I've got a bit of an idea now, I've, I've, I've thought this one through just a little bit more. Um, it might be a little bit of a hot mess, but I'm going to use some of, some of the pieces that I created in the previous live Facebook using alcohol inks. Um, alcohol inks today only are 15% off. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to readjust my camera because I've just realised that it is... The dogs have been running in and out here. Everybody's been in and out doing everything today. Oh, there we go. Um, and, um, yes, there we go. That's a bit better. So, I've got my little junk journal here. This is my Scrap Effects junk journal. And I'll be doing some lives in these tomorrow as well. Um, these are... Scrap Effects junk journals have got these gorgeous little die cuts. They're made up of lots of different pages, tags. Um, you can put just about anything in them. So these, this is a um, like an encyclopedia page. I've got an acetate here that I've put a tag on um, with alcohol ink. Um, a page I haven't done. So you can see these gorgeous die cuts. This is what makes these products really unique. Here's a page, uh, one of the die cut pages, and I've used the gloss, Dina Wakely gloss sprays on this one. Um, street directory page, you know, GPS on paper, as we like to call it in our house. Um, this is one I did last month in a live Facebook using some rice paper and some stamps and stencils. Um, I love this page now, the more I look at this one. So all sorts of bits and pieces. And they, this one is, I've almost finished this one. It's almost ready to be bound together. So this is the page I'm going to be working on. So what I'm going to do to start with um, is I might pop a little bit of a bit of paper towel underneath here. Oh, and I need to turn my comments on because I don't know if anybody's there. Oh, look at you all. You are there. Hey, girls. Oh, and Stefan. Hey, babe, you're watching. You're a good boy. Um, okay, so what I've done is I've just got a little piece of the Dina Wakely, um, oh, what's this, the, the cl almost clear washi tape that she's got and just put a little piece in the middle. Um, I'm going to use the collage paper from Scrap Effects. So this is the writing one. 
and I'm going to put some of this across my page. Um, hey, Christine, how are you going? Good. And I'm going to do this, and I'm just not going to overthink this too much because because oh, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> finding my catalyst tool. All right, so I'm using some gel medium, chromical <coughs> um, impasto gel medium to use as an adhesive on my page so that it is that actually you know what a paintbrush is going to be better um it is the it's going to be it's got to dry clear is what i'm trying to say the hard way so i'm putting that over the top here to make sure that the let's get rid of some of these other bits here hang on to make sure that that tape is covered and sealed, okay? So um, going back over the top, over the area, it's, it's strengthening the spine of my book. And when I finish this book and I want to stick it all together, then um, a lot of the pages will be in place ready to go. But because I like to create uh, art journal pages that are essentially double pages. Hey, Michelle. Um, yeah, I, I like to do it like this. Yeah, you know what? It is a beautiful day here in Radelaide at the moment. The sun is out. I went and stood out on the back lawn for about a minute and a half and <laughs> soaked up some of that. Um, and I think I've got a nice week coming up too, which will be good. All right, so putting it over the top is sealing the paper and making the surface all be the same. And it's, I'm also pushing out some of the bubbles. Um, going to tear some more so this is um, yes the writing paper that is the um, sorry the scrap effects rice paper uh, Renee I should be in Queensland yeah I know right but we're not so stop rubbing it in actually to be honest my legs don't need to see any Queensland at the moment my son the sun does not has not seen my legs in this year I'm sure, and it shows. Um, and I've got some kick-ass bruises at the moment that need to heal. So, um, yes, they could probably do with a bit of vitamin D, to be honest. All right, so just getting some of this down uh, onto here, and I'm going to pop a little up here. Um, sorry if you can hear the dogs barking and everything else, but the breeze coming in through the studio door is actually really nice. Louise is here still packing orders, so she's working around in the background, getting all your orders ready for you uh, to be posted. So, um, and thank you to everybody who has taken advantage of today's special, which is the alcohol inks at 15% off. So just to let you know also, the Upo paper, which is the paper that you need to use with the alcohol uh, alcohol inks, they are also on paper. Oh, oh my! <laughs> did he put some? Did he put bourbon in my can or something? I can't speak. Um, the Upo paper is on special too. There you go. Got it out. Um, so you can take advantage of that. Um, paper pads and collections are also on special at fifteen percent off as well as all Lindy's products. So, um, oh, we moved the bin, Louise. I forgot. I'll just make a pile. Oh, I'll use that one. That's good. Okay, so building that down, in, uh, building that up in the background and I'm all good to go there. So while that is drying, I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on. Um, again, I don't, I'm not going to go for something really, really bright. I do have an idea in mind. Um, but I want to cover up the dirty bits in the background here. So I might go, I might go with, oh, here we go, Carnation. So this is one of the Dina Wakeley colours, so I'm just going to get a bit on there and a bit on there. Um, and I'm not even going to use a brush. We'll just use the catalyst tool to get that on. And just swiping it on a little 
like so. So this page is going to be all about layers. Um, there's going to be layers of foil. There's going to be layers of, I'll be, put a little bit of stamping on perhaps. Um, layers of collage paper. Um, what else am I going to put on? What other colour? What other colour? Maybe, 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 baby. That's a bit bold, but do I want to do that? No, I don't. It's going to be too dark because I have an idea. Oops, sorry. I just paused my, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit more paint than I had anticipated. So, therefore... That's very purple. Hmm, okay. I'm not a purple person, actually. Purple is my least favourite colour. So why I grabbed for purple is anybody's guess. So what I will do in a moment is I'm going to tone that down. Very, very rarely will you see me create in a purple this colour. I will tend to use more of a deep magenta or mix a blue and a pink or something along those lines. Purple and I are not friends at all. So let's get rid of that a little by putting some white over the top because this is about what I want, not what you guys want, as much as you probably like purple. I don't. And then that's a bit better. Tone that down a lot. Well, that's nearly empty. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I see a lot of you have been taking advantage of the no judgment and adding to your orders today. So thank you very much for that. Um, and I We've been, yes, busy here behind the scenes, packing up all your little alcohol inks ready to go. Um, there are lots and lots of bags on the table here of um, going out to some very happy customers, which will be lovely. Um, all right, so the next thing I've got to do is I'm going to put that aside to dry because um, it needs to be dry before we do the um, flaking. Put the flakes on it um, and uh, I don't want to use the heat gun. What I have also done is for my focal point on this page, I this week um, got in the new paper rose dies that uh, have been designed by Kasha and they're really unique. This is these guys here. So what these do are build these gorgeous ladies. So I took some of the um, alcohol ink Yupo paper pieces that I created earlier and have cut out, I think, this one here or this one, or they could be the same, I can't remember. But I have printed this out so I can use it for reference for putting it together. So I do think that they are super unique and you can do lots of things with them. Um, so this one is called the Isabella Girl. This one is called Olivia and this one is called Veronica. So I think that they are very, very clever and really, really interesting to work with. So. Um, you guys get to watch me do a little bit of paper piecing and this is what I have done. So I have got, and I cut a title as well. So I have cut a head, so let's start putting together the head. So I definitely recommend uh, to having some tweezers handy. Um, I'm going to put a dob of glue on my mat here and I'm going to work from that. So I, oh God, I've got sticky fingers already. So I think that these are going to work nicely. So I cut the 
um, head out on a piece of you plain Yupo and the nose is in there and it hasn't put, it been pushed out. So I'm just going to stick a piece of double sided tape behind that just so that I don't lose it because there's every chance of that happening. Uh, because I want the nose to stay right there. Um, all right, let's get some neck. Ha, let's get some neck. Oh, that's so funny. Um, okay, so I need to pop a little glue there. Now, I have not used these before. I have got no idea how it's going to go. I'll give her a short, fat neck like mine. Um, I'll do the lips on next. So the lips I cut out using um, some Yupo alcohol ink piece that I did before. I did have them floating around here. They are still here somewhere. Uh, their eyebrows and eyes. So theoretically, they should have actually been in a different colour. So I might just come back to that. Because her eyebrows will go here. I might put her eyebrows and her eyes on last, okay? So let's put those aside. All right, so what I've got here, and I'm just gonna put my baby wipe, get rid of that bit of glue because I've cut out some transparent and some of a blue from before and I've just left it sitting in there so you can actually see that it's cut um, and I'm just going to push these little elements out. So these are real, I just think these are gorgeous dyes and in um, the photos that Kasha has put on the Paper Rose website, um, which are the photos that I have just printed out, they give you some ideas on what to do with them. So I think that that didn't cut properly. Bloody hell. Okay, hang on. Um, yeah, you give them some different ideas. So they make some wonderful little underground scenes, uh, underground, underwater scenes as well. You can do um, some, they're quite a versatile, very, very clever product. So. All right, so I've cut that out and that out. And then it's got all of these other little bits in here, which I might need to get my little scissors out, which I don't have, but they'll do. Because my, I was too lazy to get my Gemini out and I used my Big Shot, which um, obviously needs some new plates. So these are really, unique and really really clever and I cannot wait to see what some of you guys do with them um, because I reckon like especially it's, it's like the, the alcohol ink's gorgeous so I thought if I give her alcohol alcohol ink hair that might be really cool but if I was to do you know create a background out of patterned paper or um, Magicals, for example, and then cut the hair out. That would be beautiful. Very nice indeed. So I've got another live Facebook planned for this evening. Um, I thought it I'd sit out here and have a have a chat and do a bit of creating with you guys. Um, but I would love to know what you would like me to do. I haven't really thought too much about this evening's. Facebook. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, I'm going to have to get the knife out on that one, I reckon. Oh, no, here we go. I really need some super tiny little snippy scissors. Can I get them for you? Um, I don't actually think I've got any, Louise, to be honest. How do I not have, like, I've got 117 pairs of scissors over there, but nothing that's dainty and, you know, like a pair of nail scissors. That's what I need. Actually, you know what? There's a pair inside. Um, could you ask Trevor? They're um, on the coffee table next to the lounge. That's just creepy. So 
Sorry guys, I really should have done this earlier. Um, and because it's plastic paper, it's not normal paper, it's got a little bit more um, texture to it than the other one. Okay, so this is, uh, an, this is a translucent Yupo paper that I did um, a while ago. This was sitting in my stash and I have cut that. So what I want to do with it is I want to layer up all of these little bits on top. Um, oh, love it's having an assistant thing. Thanks, Louise. That's fantastic. Good timing. Um, let me trip these, trim these little bits off. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I reckon they must have come out of my first aid kit that, <laughs> that I've never used. Um, all right. Dun, dun, dun. So that is a hair. So that could go, I think, either way. Um, and then I need to do the same thing here. So... Um, yes, if I had put in an extra shim in my die cutting machine, then this would have been perfect and that would have cut beautifully, but you know, that didn't happen. So, so you get to watch me fussy cut these guys out. All right. So while I'm doing that, in fact, I'm not going to cut that one out because it's annoying. Um, while I'm doing this, I will tell you about the specials again because you totally need to know alcohol inks are on special until I go to bed tonight. So they are 15% off and I do believe we have sold out of some of the new ones. So apparently it's the quick of the dead around here today, which is good. Um, the new alcohol inks are gorgeous and I do have a top up of the glitter ones coming in and... There will be some a new release of colours. I do believe they are fluoros coming out soon. Um, what else is on special? Minte Cut Apart books. That's really bugging me. But I can't get it out. Okay, that one stays in. So Minte Cut Apart books are also um, on special. And... Um... 49 and market products as well, uh, pattern papers, all sorts of bits and pieces. So plenty there for, to, um, to tempt you with. All right, so let's have a go at putting this together. So this is where I thought it would be handy to print this out as a guide because the back of the packaging on the paper rose packages doesn't give me enough information on putting it together. Um, and I think that... I just needed a little bit of help on doing this. Um, what I do love is that they're all interchangeable as well. So I could use this lady's um, face and have hair coming out that way or, you know, different, different combinations would work really, really well. So I think that the key piece is going to be this one. Um, and... I don't quite, I'm overthinking this, obviously. So, and I'm going to trim it down, of course. Oh, I know what you, so I can actually go have it that way or that way. All right, so let's not think about this too much. Let's just do it. So I have got her going like that. So I'm going to be trimming some off. I'm going to use this one here as well, and I'm going to, hey, there we go. I'm going to cover the top of her noggin with that. So her head, sorry, her head is the correct word. Um, do I want to go down that way? Do I want to do a long skinny one? No, nah, let's do it without that. Okay. Like that. So let's just get some glue. Let's commit to it, right? The more I stuff around, the harder it's going to go. So let's just go big dab of glue off to the side here. My glue is getting a bit gross. So I'm just going to pop a little glue on the top like that. And that is her fringe. And 
and dry. Please dry, please dry, okay. Excellent, there we go, there's our first layer. Our second layer, what are we going to do? We've got all these other little bits here, but let's go with, you know what? There's a bit here that hasn't been cut out. So what I can do is I'm gonna cover it up. But before I do that, let's get some glue on that. Know what put that glue in the wrong spot didn't I bugger all right to go okay so that is fine because just chat amongst yourselves for a second girls while I try and um, work out how this works for my my visually pleasing there we go that's what I want to do I want to go up like that but I think I want to lift it up it needs to be foam taped a bit and I'm going to incorporate these bits as well. And these are going to sit up here like that and cover up my little furphy that I did. Um, so I'm going to use my clear silicon tape for this one. Now, because she's going to sit there, like I said, girls, for those of you just tuning in, I have not used this die before. I have no idea how it's going to go. Um, and I am winging it. So um, you get to see me either fail here miserably or ace it. So I would like to say I'm going to ace it, but that's yet to be proven. So the clear silicon tape is my, my favourite tape and I'm popping it smack bang in the middle there. And I'll pop it there. Now I'm going to come in with this one and pop it in underneath. And then I'm going to add some little curly bits as well. So, but I'm going to add those on a little bit later because I've got to do my foiling now. So I'm going to come back to this. So I'm building all of these layers up. Okay. okay. All right, so let's do a little bit of foiling. So I love gilding flakes, Have, haven't used them in years. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can use them. Um, I just need to dry this off quickly. Got a bonus piece of hair, smack bang in the middle of that. Isn't that attractive? I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is it hair? Oh yeah, there's a bit of my hair. Sorry about that guys. Um, just, you know, keeping it real. Um, <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do with the Scrap Effects leaves is, and if you can hear all that, that rattling, that's Louise getting the um, alcohol inks out of the packets to fill your orders with. They are, um, they come in these, the, the noisiest packets you've ever found. So you just have to listen up to it in the background. Okay. So I want to put the foil behind this. So I want to put one here like that. 
and I want to put one down here like that. So to do that, I'm going to do a little bit of an outline of the area that I'm going to work with. Um, actually, so I could do it straight onto my art journal, but I'm actually thinking that it might be better to do it onto a separate piece of paper and then stick it on. So I'm going to use my Reeves book and let that dry just a little longer, hey? <laughs> hey Elizabeth, you know what? I think everybody's um, a bit a bit twisted with daylight savings at the moment. Um, and to be honest, you've just missed me floundering around a little bit with um, a die so that I've never used before. So this is a 200 GSM drawing paper. This is the paper that I use for stamping onto for my projects. It's got a little bit of weight to it and I really quite I really quite like that. So um, I want to put some foiling in this area here. So I have given myself a little bit of a guide to work with and I'm going to do the same thing with this leaf here because I don't want this whole leaf on my project. I only want probably about that much of it so I'm going to do the same thing here so when you're foiling there's a couple of ways of getting the foil onto your paper you can use um, tacky glue which I've never used before um, but I like to use double-sided tape that is my my go-to. So I find the widest double tape that I have got access to in front of me, which is just the 12mm. Um, I do have a thicker roll, but I can't remember where it is. You could also use um, jack paper or sheets of adhesive paper. There's lots of things that you can do um, instead, but this is what I've got in front of me here. So I need to cover it. I need to cover these areas up. So um, I do also need to make sure that I don't get any lines and it overlaps. So I peel off my tape in between to make sure that I don't have any gaps and especially if you're using double-sided tape. So, I mean, it doesn't need to be fancy and complicated. You can just use what you have at hand. You don't always need to buy all the things, but I do say thank you when you do. <laughs> um, but the wider double-sided tape would have been great if I'd gotten out of my chair. So I'm not going to do that though. And then I need to do the same on this side. So yes, for those of you who do have wider double-sided tape, this will work. Um, the reason I don't like using tacky glue to do this is or or just normal glue to do this is because I don't have the patience to to watch it dry and get tacky. Um, I've got other things to do with my time, so I do find that it'll um, takes too long. Takes too long. the gilding flakes. A couple of things you need to have handy with the gilding flakes are a paintbrush, a, a box of some description to catch them and a sponge. 
and nothing else sticky sitting around for the flakes to um, catch on because they go everywhere. So I have got here, they've all got names as well. This one's called Summer Meadow. They are all as equally beautiful as the last lot, but they are super staticky. Having some tweezers handy is also good. Um, I'm going to cut this down to make it a little bit more pliable. Um, a paintbrush can help, a dry paintbrush. So because they are super staticky, I can pick up the flakes and place them on top of the tape like that. And you'll see that I'm doing it over a box. So the reason I'm doing it over a box is to catch all of the bits. Um, it is a very messy sport, this one. And I'm using a lot with this one. I'm covering two big areas. So um, there's the a couple of... Um, a couple of things this will look great on will be the Scrap Effects keyhole. So there's the Mermaid keyhole. This would look amazing behind the Mermaid keyhole. The um, anything like just normal die cutting, this will look amazing behind that as well. Um, so what I'm doing is just placing it on with the paintbrush and then just letting it sit on there. Um, I will go over again in a moment and show you the next step, but I'm just letting it sit there for the time being, like that. And you can see if I bring it up to camera, it's quite rough on there, okay? There's all these chunky bits and it's all hanging off. And now I'm going to do the big area. But the dry paintbrush is just making the application easier. So just think of the possibilities with this. So if you had a piece of paper and pop some double-sided tape on it and ran it through your die cutting machine to do a title, oh my God, that would look good. If you had um, a, a shaker card that you wanted to make amazing, like have an amazing background, you could do these in the background of that. That would just be very cool as well. There's just so many possibilities. All right. So here comes the messy bit. What I'm going to do next is put the lid on that and then using this box and a piece of high-tech kitchen sponge which I'm just going to cut down because it doesn't need to be that big um, first thing I'm going to do is use my brush to brush it into the box And it's taking off any excess. For those of you who don't like glitter, like me, this works um, better than glitter and it's actually a bit easier to clean up. So that has tidied it up. Um, the next bit I'm going to do is move the box out of the way. Um, and I'm going to take this sponge and use this side to polish it. So when I'm polishing it, 
I'm just wiping it backwards and or just yeah just polishing it now you can actually see the tape lines with this it has shown the tape lines and so that's why wider tape would probably be better um, but hey it worked and I'm going to be putting something over the top of it that is um, has got the, the veins of the leaves so you're not going to see it So you can see how nice that looks, hey? So this is what the cool thing about the flakes is, is that they've got all of these really lovely little elements. So you don't have to do anything else to them other than that. No special tools, no special anything. It's just done. And although it looks messy, a couple of, couple of things are going to make it easy and that's having a container handy to put your flakes into, to brush them into. Um, a dry paintbrush. Like all of these will just stay together and then next time I want to use it, it's there, ready to go. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that aside. So what I wanna do now is I'm going to take that big leaf and that is going to sit like that like that. Um, rather than using glue, I'm going to use um, Dimensional Magic. This is my favourite um, thing for making, my favourite tool for making things shiny, but it's an excellent adhesive as well. Um, if anybody has bought any of my card kits, um, you'll notice that in the list of requirements, this is what I always use. Dimensional Magic has been around for years and years and years, um, but it, and it dries shiny glossy, so it will work exactly like glossy accents, but Dimensional Magic is my favorite, and it is the one that, it's just got a, it's a little bit more fluid. I'm not squeezing the bottle, and it's coming out really, really easily. So um, these sell for, I don't know how much they are, they're 12 or so dollars, but it'll last you a really long time. And I find they don't clog up as much as the Dimensional Magic, uh, sorry, the Glossy Accents does. So um, not a whole, I don't have to cover the whole area. I'm only putting it in a few, you know, little spots. And then I'm going to stick it down about there. And do the same thing with my baby leaf. So turning it over. Just enough to make sure it's all stuck down. All right, so while that is drying, um, I don't wanna to touch it. I just wanna give it a couple of minutes before I cut it out. Um, I think I might add a little bit more to my background because the more I look at this, the more I realise it's really purple and I really shouldn't have done that. Um, don't, love my, don't love purple. So what else have I got here in front of me that I can use? I have got some Scrap FX leaves stamps. Let's give these little guys a run. Now I've got some flakes everywhere. They're really nice, look at that. And I might pop some of these up here. So when you open these, they come already on acrylic backs, um, backing. So they're really, really easy to use. Hey there, Michelle Logan, I see you watching. Um, so the, yeah, they're, they're fantastic. They're all ready to go. You don't need to um, put them on an acrylic block or anything, you're all, fine with that. So what colour do I stamp in? That one. I think I need to add a bit more colour to this background with some paint because I just, I'm not sold on it. Um, let's just 
might do a little bit of dry brushing. So what dry brushing is, dry brushing is taking a dry paintbrush, I know, um, and just getting a little bit of colour around the place. So I chose turquoise in a pastel because the rest of it has got that pastel feel to it. <laughs> yeah, um, Michelle's just commented. She's decided to sit and watch me instead of cleaning. Oh, come on. Nobody likes cleaning. Cleaning, will, it'll still be dirty later, darling. Don't worry about it. Um, and I need to stand up that in my... Oh, shit. <laughs> um, stand that up in there. Okay, let's get a bit more colour on. So when I'm putting this colour on, I'm connecting it again to the edge. Otherwise, it is floating in the middle of nowhere. And we don't want it to be floating. It needs to be connected to something. So that's where I'm bringing it close into the edge. Oh, that just didn't work. So dry brushing is going to give me a really thin amount of paint on. It's not going to be overwhelming. It's going to just be a really lovely pretty addition to the page rather than something big and bold um, and if it is too big and bold and you put it on too heavy you can get a baby wipe and take it off baby wipe over acrylic paint as we know works a treat um, what else have I got here in front of me I've still got this stencil here so I can I don't know no, I won't stencil. See, too much paint on that corner because I wasn't concentrating on what I was doing. So therefore we grab a baby wipe and in fact, I'm gonna use that stencil and I'm just gonna wipe it off like that. But I need to be able to put it, I need to put it somewhere else as well. I can't just put that there and like it's all okay one element. I've got to, I have to commit to it and do it in other spots around the page. All right. So there we go. That has worked. Let's clean that up before I stick something else in it. Um, okay. So let's look at the paint situation here. We are good. It's much better. Much more toned down. I know that this is going to be covered up with my leaf that we've just gilded. Um, put my brush in some water. Uh, let's look at this guy here. So I know what's going to happen is I'm going to grab this leaf and it's still sitting there drying. It's not taking long, but that's going to go on that edge. And this one is going to go on this edge. So I just might put a couple of really light leaves in and around this area. Um, and what color will I do them in? I needed something something muted so my original idea of chip sapphire not going to happen um just chat amongst yourselves while i grab a different ink pad Okay, so I've got this um, really pale grey sea foam, it's called. Now, this colour is something that I don't have available in stock. It is something that came in a freebie. Um, and I'm just going to pop a little on here. So rather than just going straight in and trying it, probably a really good idea based on today, whether if I test it first, let's see what this colour's like. Yeah, that's okay. Quite muted, a little grey, just what I want. In fact, I'm just going to swipe it so that it gives me a lesser finish. Much lighter finish. Actually, you know what I should have grabbed out of the cupboard? Um, a Distress Oxide in perhaps something like... Um, that's right, Lou. Don't worry about it. I've committed to this. Let's just see it through now. I 
Um, <laughs> but um, I could have also gone with a tumbled glass or something like that in a distress oxide or distress ink would work really quite nicely. All right, so that will go there, that will go there. Now this is a, I don't even know what sort of ink this is. It's not drying quickly. So I'm gonna to have to heat set that ink to dry it um, so that it doesn't smudge. And I have to balance it out. So I'm gonna put a bit down here as well. What did I do with that other stamp? Can anybody see that on my desk? Yes, there it is. Thanks for that. So I love these little stamps. I think that they are so very clever and so easy to use. Um, they clean up nicely. So all I'm going to do with this in a moment is wipe it over with a baby wipe gently. I could put it in the sink and um, give it a little scrub. That would also work. So. But I can see that the ink's still wet because it is shiny on my page. So that's why I'm heat setting this ink. Because I don't want it to smudge. All right, let's cut some leaves out. And then I'll come back to my little mixed media, my little um, lady over here and finish her off. And then she's going to be my focal point. So did anyone come up with any grand suggestions on what I'm uh, what I'm going to be doing tonight? Am I going to do a scrapbook page, an art journal? Um, what are your thoughts? I, uh, I put the question out yesterday about asking what you want to see in the lives and I did a little page with the Hessian from the Dina Wakeley journal. Um, I'm not going to do a canvas page. I don't want to have to think too much this evening. Um, but I'm certainly open to ideas. Um, if you just want me to do a, a nice painty page, I'm more than happy. If you want me to do a a stencil page or something like that. Um, I might even, I could do a, a, um, a canvas, an art canvas, a painty canvas if you like. That would also work, showing you lots of different ways of laying up stencils and paint that could work. Um, oh, pretty. Art journal, art journal, art journal, okay. Painty scrapbook page. Oh, come on, Robin. <laughs> How about we do... <laughs> Fiona, double laid, double scrapbooking, double laid, double page layout. No. Maybe, okay, well, I'll take that on board. You did, I did ask for suggestions. I need to shut up and take that, yeah. Um, I could do that, couldn't I? I haven't done a double page for a scrapbook page in ages um scrapbooking double oh that's two people asking me for a double page layout oh see it would work better if i could get my um camera to turn horizontal because i am filming through my iphone you are so needy fiona um <laughs> I, um, because I'm filming through my iPhone, if I turn my camera sideways, then it's sideways on the screen for you. You get to see the whole thing, but you have to turn your head sideways. So it's a bit crap. Oh, I nearly snipped that off. Um, so I need to, yeah, people do still doubles, do still do doubles, Karen. Um, I, I love doing double layouts. But it's a mood thing. I have to be in the mood. All right. There's my leaf, my half a leaf, and my half a leaf. Um, all right. Let me have a little bit of a think about that. I'll have a bit of a... Um, I'll see I'll see what happens after, after dinner. I'll see what... 
I'll see what Trev cooks up for dinner and if it inspires me to do a double or a, or if I have a glass of wine with dinner or... If I have a glass of wine with dinner, then, um, then you're going to get an art journal. Um, yeah, Elizabeth, um, the reason I'm in portrait mode is because, yeah, if I turn it um, horizontal, then... It doesn't automatically on my camera, it doesn't project it, yeah, across the screen properly. So what happens is, I've, I've, trust me, I've tested all the theories, but what happens is that you guys have to turn your heads. So um, it's a real pest. And because it is much, much easier to put my phone in the holder rather than, and connect that up, and then it streams live. If I had a, you know, fancy camera that just could live stream, then I'm sure it would work great. But anyway, sidetracked. Um, okay, so this is looking great, but what is missing is the fact that I have added black here, right? Um, yeah. um, I've added black in the black frame and my page needs black somewhere. It needs a bit of depth to it. So what is going to happen is... Oh, Trevor, we're having T-bone for tea. Nice work, babe. I see what He's just commented. Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> T-bone and wine. Are we having vegetables? Okay. So she's going to go here, and she's going to be my focal point. She's going to overlap, right? But there's still no black anywhere. So I have to add black somewhere else. Salad. Thank you, Trev. <laughs> ah, keeping it real. Um, okay, so... No tomato. No tomato. I don't do tomato. No, that's right. Okay. What else can I add? So the black's got to come in somewhere. I've still got this stamp sitting here. Maybe we'll add some black stamping. So that's going to go there. Ink pad. Ink pad. Black ink pad. Um, for those of you who have got one of these jumbo archival ink pads, oh, now my iPad's going flat. Um, I've got them on order. Apparently, there is a massive shortage of. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Are we charging? Yep. Yeah. Um, there's a massive shortage at the moment of um, jumbo ink pads. So I do have a lovely little list of names of people who would like one and I will get them to you as soon as they come in. Um, okay, so black archival ink. Always use, I always use black archival ink because I don't know what I'm going to do next. So um, I've got my flower. So again, I'm going to test it to see how dark it is and how inky this ink pad is. Hey, and that's pretty good. And what I like about using this, it's a really lovely fine stamp. So it's not going to overpower my page. It's going to build the image rather than overpower it. So my first flower will go behind where my leaf will go. And then I will build out from there. So I can go down there next and I will pop one up here. And you know what? I'm going to pop one there. I still got my leaf, my leaves there that I did earlier. Um, they're still floating around. So this one is going to go here. So the same thing. I need to work in and around my flower. Sorry, my leaf. And I'm not fussed about seeing the whole flower. That might just work. Yeah, baby. Okay. And that works. So while I'm doing this and floundering around a little bit more, um, there you may have noticed online there is also um, a pre-loved section on my website. So the pre-loved section is um, exactly that. They're pre-loved little bits and pieces that um, you can... That need a new home so they are pre-loved stamps and pre-loved 
dies. They are pre-loved bits and pieces that just need to come to your house and not be in mine anymore. Okay, so they are marked down to the bare minimum. Um, so there's some really, really good prices on there for all sorts. Lots of Tim Holtz products. There's stencils, pre-loved stencils up there at the moment, people. Um, and they're in bundles as well. So very, very good value for money. All right, I'm going to pop that on because I'm sick of fluffing around here with it. Glue, done. Quite like this little corner down here of flowers and leaves. So most of the stuff in the pre-love section, you will notice um, some of it looks new. Some of it looks like it has never been used. Some of it looks like it just needs a good clean. Um, but yeah, lots of bargains there. So um, take advantage of the um, sorry, the no judgment special. So if you've already placed an order, we can add to your order. Okay. So I'm going to pop that down about. Oops, there. I just let that dry. Rightio, so let's go back to our girl here and see what happened. So she's still dry. Oh, no, she's fairly well dry. I'm actually going to pop a little bit of some, some more tape on the back because because it's Yupo paper, it hasn't... The drew, the drew. The glue's still drying. So I'm just going to stick these little bits down just to secure it. So for those of you who are just tuning in now, what um, I have here is one of the new Paper Rose dies. So these are the Isabella, Isabella Girl, the Olivia Girl and the Veronica Girl. And they are paper piecing dies. I guess I think that's what they're called, paper piecing. Um so I have printed from the website a template of what it's going to look like so that I can have a bit of an idea. But it's got some great ideas here. Kasha has done an amazing job of these little mixed media ladies and I have started building it up here. I've made a bit of a furphy on there but I'm going to try and fix that in a second. So I've done the head. which has got some glue on it. There we go. Um, I'm going to... What am I going to do now? I'm going to... I need to add some more bits. So this is... Because I've cut it out on two different pieces of alcohol ink paper that I prepared earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier. You know what? I'm going to stick that in there. Where's my scissors again? Here we go. But I love that you've got the ability to be able to build these up. So I can cut bits off. And have a bit of a play with the, um, the different elements. I can cut them up. I need to round that off because it was a bit spiky where I just snipped it. How am I going for time? Have I been here for like an hour and a half doing this? Oh, no, it's not too bad. An hour. An hour. No one's got anything important to do there. Then. Um, and then I want to put something. Put the scissors down again, didn't I? Might come back to that. All right. So what I might do is because I'm just stuffing around here. Let's go with, come back to my page. Pretty happy. She's going to sit here on the page. So yeah, you can build up these gorgeous, gorgeous little girls. Um, it does need, 
I mean, at the moment, she's just a floating head, which is not ideal. So she needs to be anchored. And that is where my title is going to go. So I could put her here. But she really needs to go here. So I'm just going to do it. Okay. Um, oh, hello, Vicky. I see you watching, darling. How are you? Um, all right. That one, just to peel a bit of tape off the back there. And I'm just going to pop some of this Dimensional Magic as my adhesive. So these are really, really cool dies. And they look a bit weird when you look at them online. And you kind of go, yeah, really? Do I really? No. But I think that they are amazing. Um, I reckon that there's going to be some amazing creations with these. All right, and we are stuck on. All right, so let's build on this now. I have got some curly bits over here. And I'm going to put a puddle there. And I'm going to grab these curly bits and I'm going to pop them on. And I'm just going to do it. There we go. And you can't even tell that there's a bit there that I messed up. So tweezers will come in handy. Don't do this without a pair of tweezers. It'll just do your head in. So um, certainly going to help to have some tweezers handy. But there's lots of little layers and that's really, really interesting as well. Okay, so I'm just going to secure this down. Because it's an art journal, the pages will get um, flipped around a little. Bit more glue under there and then i just need to finish off her face so to finish off her face i've got these i've already put the lips on i've got the eyes here and the eyebrows which i'll actually do off camera because you don't need to see me flounder around with that either but what i also did a little earlier is i need to cut that off too don't i is i cut the other thing that paper rose have just released are these little super thin dies so there's lots of really awesome words I have got here. Simply, I've got amazing, I've got gorgeous, and I've got simply. And I have cut those out, and they look great. I love the detail font. I think that that is super delicate. Um, and you can actually build it as well. So they come with the backing so that I can... Build that up over the top and have a layered, um, a layered look like that, or I can just go straight on here, which I will do as well. But I want to. I'm going to use a black pen and colour that black. Um, I also did the word gorgeous, and I was hoping that it would turn out looking simply gorgeous, but poking those little bits out. And then that's going to sit down here in black as well with a little bit of doodling around the edges. So there is my 90% finished page. I will finish this off off camera in a moment because as per normal, you do not need to see me watch, you know, watch me do that. Um, so just to recap, I am using my Scrap Effects Junk Journal. And I've put a bit of paint down in the background and some collage paper. So I've used the writing collage paper, which is one of the best sellers. I uh, can't keep that in stock. So if you look up writing paper in the search at the top, um, you'll find that. Certainly recommend doing that, getting, getting some of it. It's amazing and it goes with just about everything. These vine leaves are fantastic. So what I did is on a separate piece of paper, we used the... 
gilding flakes and double-sided tape. Nice and simple to add some simple elements there. Um, the stamping in the background using foam stamps and the Tim Holtz flower stamp that I used before. Um, and this little lady here um, using the Paper Rose new dies that have just come in online. So thank you very, very much for joining in today and listening to my waffle for an hour or so. Um, jump online. You've still got a few hours left of the 15% off of the alcohol inks. They will be online until, um, until I go to bed. The... Um, what else was there? The pattern papers all this weekend are 15% off as well as all the Lindy's products. Um, there are also some other bargains. So have a look in the show specials tab on the website, nataliemay.com.au and grab yourself a bit of a bargain. I will post a photo up very shortly of this finished project so that you can see it and um, go from there put up some little bits and pieces so thank you very much guys um i hope you're all having a, a great afternoon i will be back at around 8 p.m this evening to flounder around some more and make a more of a creative mess for you guys and if you have any questions in the meantime please don't hesitate to send me a message and i'll endeavor to get back to you asap um thanks guys i hope you're all doing really well uh, wash your hands, kiss your kids and um, chat soon.